Our climate is changing, and now the most comprehensive scientific analysis yet has predicted what that will mean for humankind. No one on the planet will be left untouched, according to the authors of the IPCC report. The one message that comes out very clearly is that the world has to adapt and the world has to mitigate. And the sooner we do that, the less the chances of some of the worst impacts of climate change being faced in different parts of the world. For the UK, extreme weather events are likely to prove the biggest challenge. Work began today to dredge the rivers of the Somerset levels where the winter floods caused so much damage. All along the Thames Valley, the effects are still being felt. Yeah. Three quarters of Stephen Doble's pasture is coated in sludge. And under here somewhere you can find the, what was the grass. With no grass for his cattle, he will have to spend £20,000 this year buying feed instead. No crop can grow without water. No crop can grow when it's too far underwater. So there's only so much we can prepare for that. Um, and yeah, that's all we can do really. And only so much money you can put aside for those exactly. years. Exactly, yeah. With the Thames flood barrier as the backdrop to his message, the Energy Secretary said today the UK must take early action, investing in ways to lessen the impact of climate change. I think everyone should be worried about the impact of climate change. It's going to cost our country and the world a huge amount if we don't act uh, in terms of human health, in terms of food security, higher food prices, in terms of the overall impact on the economy. And although food shortages will affect other parts of the world most damagingly, a rise in food prices is certainly an effect we'll feel here in the UK. The world does not have enough resources for everybody in the world to eat the sort of diet that we have been used to in the last decade or so. The global food system is already past the point of no return and we're just waiting for it to break properly. 195 governments of the world commissioned this report and have been told in the clearest possible terms what to expect. It is now up to us and those we elect to decide how to respond to this warning.